Welcome back to another video tutorial series. I'm Gree Scotsman here to bring you another Zero Takedown Ghost video tutorial. And uh, as I mentioned in the first installment, which covered the game tutorial, uh, basically the idea is to not disturb anything, to not take down anyone, and get through the level without even being spotted. I gotta say, you're the last person I pictured taking orders from a CEO. Things change. Not always for the better. Feel like getting in there and doing whatever it is your boss wants you to do? Because maybe then we can do our job. I got it from here. Sit tight. Wait for Seraph's signal. Like we got a choice. Alright, so I'm going to be showing off two different ways to get in, into this building. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does I that realize mean? that I don't have, we have the uh, an employee entrance there. object Heavily outlines and stuff jurors, on, no so doubt. I figure I'll turn that on so, if for you're you not guys. A fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. There we go. Okay. So Prisoner just mentioned access via a roof top entrance, and you can see planks up ahead on top of a container. That's the route that we're going to take for that. But uh, there's also another way in through the front door. So you have uh, some choices here. So here, I'm going to cut out quite a bit of uh, waiting time, so you'll notice a couple of dissolves and things like that. But uh, it's trying to show you the pathings of the guards without having to wait for them. And the other thing you need to really be cognizant of is you'll hear periodically a chopper. You can actually see uh, you can see it's spotlight every now and then you'll hear a chopper coming by and it's here it comes it's gonna pass over where I'm about to head so I need to wait it out as well as wait for the guards to turn away <clears throat> so that's why I'm sitting here for so long <laughs> So, given where this guard's going to come back from, and I can see the chopper about to come back over, I decided to wait it out, because it is going to check up on the stairwell in just a minute. I don't want to be spotted by it. And of course that guard came back pretty quickly, so. Just hang out here and you'll notice the spotlight will just miss you. It's looking in all the other places where a lot of people tend to hide, so yeah, you're not really safe by that truck. Once you're at this point, it's pretty simple. As long as his back is turned, and there's one other guard, as long as his back is turned, you're good to go. Pritchard, I'm in. The door worked just fine. I'm happy for so you. As you can see, the I got the ghost. The factoring labs. Uh, bonus an for that just past moment. The assembly labs that will take you to it. Got it. Uh, it seems like ghost points are rewarded whenever there's essentially a, a whole new map for a section. 
Uh, so. So now let's uh, take a little bit of a moment back in time and we'll go to the rooftop entrance. And on hard difficulty, there's an issue here because uh, this guard that we're walking parallel with, he will spot you unless you do something that kind of breaks the idea of a zero takedown ghost, or at least the ghost portion of it, which is you have to grab these boxes and make a path. And as you can imagine, this does create noise that the guards don't notice, but it still bothers me to the point, you know, sort of that purist in me wanting to make, you know, zero disturbances. Uh, this is more than just a disturbance. I mean, you're really... Uh, normally, you'd be making all kinds of noise. So you want to configure these crates like so, so you can get on top of one and pick the other one up. And uh, then you have to pretty much look straight up in order to, yeah, not drop it against the edge. You can see it's hitting, hitting the edge, so you have to actually stand up and drop it. And I like to put it over here because not only will it act as a visual shield as you make this jump, uh, but you know, it gives you a little bit more room to maneuver around. You don't have to get so close to the guard. So now you're up here. You want to keep maneuvering these uh, crates. You can see yeah, he's right over there, so you have to be very careful about getting spotted because he will see you every now and then he kind of looks up or looks over. So, place this crate on top, like so. But notice how I've pushed it a little bit further past the lip of the uh, thing I'm about to jump onto, so I've got enough room to jump on. And up I go. And at this point, again, this crate's acting like a visual shield, because here, this is definitely the point where the guard will see you if you have not um, uh, put this crate in place. So, it's kind of annoying. But you know what? <laughs> it's uh, it's a way in without getting spotted. So there you go. Ghost bonus. May I ask how? And we're in. Event on the roof. So, it'll be in my report next easy time. Easy peasy. Discuss security loopholes. Oh, goody. I'll be sure to take notes. The typhoon is in the factoring labs. There's an elevator just past the assembly lab that will take you to it. Got it. And so this, you have to be kind of careful about opening this door. Um, there is a guard that patrols, but you can see. Uh, he's really nowhere near. If you use the radar, here he comes. So I'm going to kind of wait him out. There he is. He will spot you. If you open the door while he's looking over here, he'll notice that. And then, of course, uh, he'll also spot you if you step out. So you need to be pretty careful about that. And I'm just waiting for him to turn around. And we're back to the original tutorial. See, so yeah, that guy you can just walk past, no big deal. And at this point, this is really easy to get through this room uh, because you can do SWAT turns the entire way. And I doubt that, yeah, the guy on the far end, he, he won't SWAT you at that range pretty much if you do a SWAT turn, but this guy coming close, he certainly will, so you need to be careful about him seeing you. It's so tempting to go behind this guy and take him down. Make sure he doesn't turn around. As soon as he's past the boxes, you go. So this section is pretty easy. 
uh, these guys pretty much will What's never look back here? at you. So, just move silently up the stairs, no problem. One thing I really enjoy about this game is uh, <laughs> it is possible to backtrack. Um, pretty much, again, unless a section of the game has its own map, you can backtrack the entire way, which was quite helpful because um, one of my first playthroughs, I didn't save the hostages. <laughs> I, I just I didn't see them. I didn't see where they were. Um, and I was figuring I would run into them, but all of a sudden I got to the end of the level. And uh, I had fortunately saved just before I went through the door. I was able to backtrack the entire way. And whoops. <laughs> That's me trying to close the doors behind me, and I closed one on my face. So this guy rounds the corner. Here's a look at the map, just kind of get an idea of where you're going. And I realize, wait a minute, this isn't where I want to go. Um, I just got confused. And here's where I wanted to go. You want to cut through the locker room here. And you gotta watch out, this guy will uh, turn around as he's walking away. So you need to kind of be aware of that. So he turns away, and that's why I'm, I choose to open the door first, make sure that I haven't startled him at all. And as long as it's clear, then I go. And I did forget to close that door, so Jensen, shoot me. I just tried to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes aren't working. Someone's changed the protocols. What? Didn't you plug the... I'm on it. But until I find this particular breach and fix it, you'll have to hack the door manually. Pritchard out. I have to say that I kind of love the little hacking game they've put in, into this, because uh, when these first ones are really rudimentary, but it's still fun. Access granted. Uh, there's a nice quick way through here, by the way. Um, these guys go off and have a little conversation. They're kind of bunched up. So there's really only one guy you have to worry about. And uh, if he's in the right position, you can just jump right down and skip uh, that whole section. If you wait too long, they enter their pathing routes. And you have to kind of be careful um, about when you expose yourself coming down that staircase. So... So through the vents we go. We we gotta rescue some hostages. Don't kill us! Please let us go! Don't just stand there! I'm not standing, sir. I'm saving your ass. Where's the bomb squad? Do something! So a pretty simple hack. Just have to watch out for obviously the arrows uh, direct you on a very specific path. Where's the bomb squad? And you're pretty much gonna trigger something without any upgrades here, so. Uh, fortunately, though, the trace is really slow. Access granted. Automated dispersal device. Deactivate. And you could have unlocked all the directory on that map without it catching you. Pritchard, get word to Seraph. I found the hostages. I'm relaying good news, I hope. They're safe, and they're staying put. SWAT will have to expel them as soon as I've got the prototype. 
I'll tell Saraf, but don't take too long. Listen up. I need you all to stay calm, keep your voices down, and wait here for SWAT. The plant's not clear yet. Not clear? But those terrorists, they've got my wife! Your wife? She's the manager here. Josie. Josie I love Thor. that, uh... They said they needed her to open the administration The guy building. that plays the voice of Lambert for from evidence Splinter Cell so shows up Please. in multiple characters in this you game. You have to find her. I'll do my best. But right now, I need you all to stay here and wait for the police. Can you do that? Yes, of course. But please, hurry. You said they were looking for evidence? What kind of evidence? I... I don't know. They're purists. They think the body is sacred and shouldn't be tampered with. They probably want something that will implicate us in moral wrongdoings. Did they know about the typhoon? It's a top secret contract. How could they? And we only moved it in a few hours ago. Please, I don't think they expected anyone would be working today. And now that they're backed into a corner, you have to find my wife, please. So this is actually kind of important. Uh, there are two ways out. Obviously, you can go all the way back, or uh, like I'm, I'm going to choose. I'm not bothering to close vents here. I'm kind of breaking my own rules, but uh, or you can just come down these staircases, and you got to kind of be careful. Obviously, there's that guard there. You want to make sure he doesn't spot you. There's four different guards in this room, and I'm realiz realizing only two are showing up on my radar. Um, I don't yet obviously have the augment that allows you to see. Uh, everyone without first tagging them, so I'm going to come up top first and swipe my mouse around just so I can get everyone on my radar and track them. So, kind of handy. Now that I have everyone, I'm figuring out exactly the kind of point they're in in their paths. That's going to help me a little bit later. And they're all looking away, so you get over. And so now, uh, there is one point here where you can be exposed, really, um, and that's getting to this door. You can also uh, choose either side of this room. This next section you have a camera and a guard to deal with, and this is probably the most... These are the moments that I live for uh, when it comes to stealth, because essentially you get to um, follow a guy in his wake, and uh, those are always the most nail-biting moments, I think. So I'm waiting for both the camera and the guard to go away. They stick around for quite some time. camera will move out of way just in time. But it certainly prevents you from totally following him, uh, staying on his ass. So here you gotta, uh, I always make sure that he's a little bit, a few steps further, just so he doesn't catch me just rounding the corner. And here I'm trying to remember if there's a guard or not. So I'll zoom out and show you where we're headed. We're trying to retrieve the typhoon. I'm kind of plotting my course. Uh, you're essentially watching me on maybe my second attempt at doing this. So I, you know, I don't really know everything for sure. Now these two guards you see on the uh, radar are on the inside of this room. I have to 
kind of be careful skirting through here. And just stay flush to the wall, wait for the camera to pan, and you're pretty much done. There's one more guard on the far side. Access granted. We have the same idea here where we're going to wait for the siren uh, and the light to turn off. And this is a little bit more important because you have two guards that are within range, they will notice it. Here you have uh, a couple of choices. I like going to the right. Uh, you can go to the left. And I don't even, I think there is like a, there's a vent route on the left. Uh, but again, I, I like the challenge of um, basically waltzing through, being near the guards. It's a lot more fun and interesting. Uh, trying to cut out some pathing time so you guys don't have to wait forever for these guards to get in positions. I know that's not fun to just sit and watch me wait. So I'm waiting for this one guy closest to me to start moving away. There he goes. And the other guards are not looking, so now it's time to do my SWAT turn. Now, <clears throat> you need to make sure to at least get to this point before you wait for guards to path back. If you are at the other uh, point before I made the swap turn, this guard here closest to me will spot you. So you need to be careful about that. Just because you're in cover doesn't necessarily mean you're, that you're hidden. So it's uh, one of the mechanics I really love about this game. So again, waiting for this guard. As soon as he turns, now there's a guard that's uh, on the other side of that counter. Waiting for him to turn. There we go. Kind of an important piece here. There are a couple of different ways. You can actually just walk straight over uh, and get behind cover over to my right near the door where I'm headed, the big X on the map. Or I find a little bit safer way in that it allows you to cover ground quickly. You swap turn and then move. Um, you get to cover some of that ground a lot quicker. Now this is really important. You need to stay in cover here. There's that guy right there. If you just turn and try to get uh, out. Now again, I'm waiting forever, so... Um, if you just stay in cover, um, you'll be safe. But if you gotta try to go straight for the elevator, he will spot you. Which I found out the hard way on a previous playthrough. So yeah, if you don't want to get uh, caught by the turret and you want to get the smooth operator achievement then you want to make sure that you do not cross and try to shut down that turret with the uh, security console Step away from the console. Now!
Pritchard, you still there? Where else would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? All right, so yeah. there's the ghost bonus for that section. Right about there being something <clears throat> more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. If we'll you need that box, you get a free stop hub, one. In case it's booby trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. Not really sure why I'm crouched and sneaking here, but what are you going to do? So up the staircase we go. I'm choosing to be silent here because I don't know if I would be hurt or anything. You never know. Alright, so this guy you can kind of follow in his wake. I'm waiting for make sure the other guy is already on the move. He is. So again, just follow in the wake. Or hide like a chump. Either way. I couldn't remember if he turned at all. So, pretty simple stuff. I am going to use a vent route here simply because uh, you can go down the staircase, but <clears throat> the vent route actually is uh, pretty handy here to get you down to the bottom level. So. So here's where the fun happens in this room. There's the one guy up top. Uh, I need to be careful that he won't spot you. Um, but most of the time when I'm out of cover, I will be uh, underneath him, so he won't be able to see me. That being said, if you do plan on taking down anybody, if you're playing a, a takedown uh, type of stealth, then you need to make sure to dispatch him, because he will definitely spot you. That's actually one thing I love about this game. There are so many different ways to play it. it just from the stealth pillar, uh, you can do a full, uh, like, close quarters takedown. I'm uh, definitely waiting for these guards to kind of line up the way I want them to. Um, there are some earlier moments that I could have gone. Waiting for this guard to path back one more time. That What I'm looking for here is... Uh, this guard that's closest to me is out of my field of view. The guard on the far end, uh, he tends to come back. He's actually already starting to come back, so I need to get to cover quickly. I was out of range, thankfully. How am I supposed to know what I'm looking for?
Again, I don't want you guys to have to wait for these guys to path forever. Shit. I don't even know what any of this stuff means. And it's time to go. Things you can grab on that desk over don't there. Don't lie to me. I don't want to hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. If you didn't want to hurt anyone, you should have stayed home tonight. Oh, look! Seraph's attack dog! You're here to clean up before the police bust in? He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break the laws. You're all the poor same. Woman in her you're gonna have a hard time convincing unusually deep you're voice. different. <laughs> Once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factoring labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Tolo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Hunter! I got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear me? But I gotta... I gotta check things out. So, Mia La Vieja, we're leaving. So here, if you not only try to free Josie, but also focus on I told you. empathizing, Stand down or this bitch is dead. then oh, shit. you won't kill this guy. You don't kill so Damn right. it's kind of important I'm a uh, with the whole man. idea of and I won't be zero takedown ghost. I need to find out because you don't want to kill anybody. Right now the boss lady it's a pacifist me. type of uh, approach to the game. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with Oggs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what I must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? I haven't quite figured it out. It seems think. like they did mocap for You're some still standing. of the stuff. more than the hacker was expecting. But I think you it's already been mentioned, like on the so I know forums. You've got the balls to handle this. If you need the talking to, it seems like here. mostly a women. Uh, they tend to do this bouncy thing. You got a good point there. They're just Let's constantly get. bouncing. I've got to exploit I don't my. Advantage. Understand why they left that in, or why they thought here, that was a good. You and the cops will be way too set of animation, but what are you gonna do? Got outmaneuvered. The only thing the cops are focused on right now is the safety of the civilians. Same as you. You've risked your life to do what's best for other people. You're not some drive-by banger. Right. Like I need the approval of somebody who sold the soul to the biomod industry. Ugh. This is out of control. The crusade is going straight into the crapper, and my brother's gonna be hung out to dry. I'm the leader. I'm the one who has to fix things. But I can't, because I'm trapped in here. You've got more honor than the man who betrayed you. You're not going to let your brother down like this. The hacker was expecting civilians to be in the building tonight. You were supposed to take hostages and force the cops to silence you permanently. But you're smarter than he is. Oh, it's so obvious. I can't believe I didn't see it till now. He thinks he can just lead me to my death? Think again, cabrón. Get out of here. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got played here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, cabrón. Yeah, well... Maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this. Someone's gonna pay. Adam! Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just... Alright, so here come a huge dump Damn of, uh... Okay, I want you back here there it now. Is. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. Copy. And there's the Jason ghost bonus. <laughs> Are you alright? I'm fine. So, yeah. I'm 
I pretty much completed everything there. Shake it's pretty crazy. Right. What about the other uh, hostages? You My get a buttload of XP. In one of the assembly labs. Uh, even without and I overheard knocking talk people about out. A bomb. Don't worry, they're safe. Oh, thank God. When those men surprised us. Mr. Jensen, they should not have been able to get in. With the typhoon being moved in and all, I double-checked the protocols myself. Yeah, I expect Pritchard's doing the same thing right now. So as you can see, even with a yeah. um, DPD will want to question full stealth zero takedown walkthrough, you, and you can still earn quite a bit of XP. Thank and you, because this right. game approach really doesn't require any abilities, uh, or at least I, I would say consider the cloaking augment a cheat for this, then you really don't need Praxis points. Uh, you might as well just you know, spend it on like maybe hacking. So you can get through tax faster. Way to secure the terrorist leader, Jen. Sorry, Mr. Thorpe. But the target is on lockdown. I can't let anyone in. But my wife, she's still in there. I, I, I need to know that she's okay. You'll have to wait until the building is secure. Now back up and let the SWAT team do their job, please. My wife, is she all right? She's fine. A little shaken up, though. So probably that's what I like the most about this her. game. Well, you'll see her soon. I don't know what to say. I, the I think I've given up on her. You're NPC a true hero, will man. I'll find some. Have an idea of what you've man. done. Obviously, you, you feel like you. I was just doing my job. You know, don't kill half the people, but then I didn't leave half you before, alive or something. I know who you are, Mr. Jensen. It'll kind of. And I know you weren't supposed to be back at between work yet. one of the Thank other. God, you are. Whether or not you're lethal. I'll be in touch. Count on it. Um, but if you have committed a, a bloodbath, it will certainly uh, the game will certainly react to that. Which I, which I like, so. You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. Now I can understand not how just they the can't men exactly it's what they try to plan for. for every no. single contingency. They pay you to put corporate interests well ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan, what are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired, she said the papers were lying about Mexican town. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. Nice to see she was right. You ready to go? So there you have it, guys. That is yeah, a get me out of here, Malik. zero takedown ghost walkthrough for Deus Ex Mission 1. And I hope that this was useful to people. Uh, and hopefully we'll start to see some better stealth videos out there. Uh, quite frankly, shooting people is not stealth.